In this video, we will understand the proof of midpoint theorem. The theorem states that the line segment joining the midpoints of any two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and is half of it. Consider a triangle with the vertices A, B and C. Let point P and Q be the midpoints of side B, C and side B, A. A line segment is obtained by joining point P and point Q. To show segment PQ is parallel to side AC and length of segment PQ is half of side AC, we need to extend segment PQ to point R such that segment QR is equal to segment PQ. Join point A to point R resulting in the formation of triangle AQR. Now consider triangle PBQ and triangle AQR. These two triangles can be proved congruent as angle BQP is equal to angle RQA because vertically opposite angles are equal. Segment BQ is equal to segment QA as Q is the midpoint of side AB. Segment PQ is equal to segment QR by the construction. Using SAS rule, triangle PBQ is congruent to triangle AQR. By corresponding parts of congruent triangle, we conclude segment PB is equal to segment AR. Since segment PB is equal to segment PC, as P is the midpoint of side BC, by using above equation, we conclude segment PC is equal to segment AR. In quadrilateral PRAC, opposite sides are proved equal, therefore, quadrilateral PRAC is a parallelogram. By geometrical property of a parallelogram, side PR is parallel and equal to side CA. Since segment of parallel lines are parallel, which implies segment PQ is parallel to segment CA. From figure, segment PR is equal to the sum of segment PQ and segment QR. As by construction, segment PQ is equal to segment QR, segment PR becomes twice of segment PQ. By substituting the value of PR as twice of PQ in equation number 1, we get 2PQ is equal to segment CA. On transposing, PQ is equal to half of CA. Hence the theorem is proved. This was it for the video. See you in the next one. Thank you for watching.